After hours of discussion, the Fayetteville City Council decided it needed more time to talk about an ordinance that would create a black historic district. During the time, the city, Northwest Arkansas Black Heritage, they're going to meet to try to figure out what to do with this proposed project. Five News reporter Rachel Williams was at tonight's meeting, has more now on the debate. Half of the council members wanted this ordinance to pass in honor of Juneteenth this month, and the other half say the way that it's written is unconstitutional. The story has to be told, and the story has to be told by those who have been impacted. I'm not originally from Fayetteville, but I'm, it's so good to know that we have individuals who are descendants of those uh, families whose homes, they, 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 were, they experienced slavery, they, have, they experienced oppression, and they had their homes taken away. The location of the proposed district is in South Fayetteville off of South Willow Avenue and Rock Street. We plan on rebuilding building a district, bringing uh, generational wealth back into the community with some of the people actually who were here in 1865, their families, you know, their descendants. The land was expected to cost the city $540,000 and a few council members had concerns about who determines how the property will be used. But they all agree on preserving history in Fayetteville. I encourage the Fayetteville City Council to realize the power of racial diversity, the power of racial equity, the power of economic opportunities for African Americans. Again, the city will collaborate with those historic organizations to come up with a plan and strategy that's constitutional for the city. But for now, I'm in Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.